Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. If you've been following the news, you did hear about the Boston, yes, the Boston bombs that happened during the Boston Marathon. And of course, they found the person. But um, now, Eric Holder, the Attorney General, is being blamed by the White House because it was his decision to go ahead and try him in that court versus, yes. In a civil court versus, a, versus as an enemy combatant. Yeah, and somehow, he didn't get his Miranda rights read to him, which means he can't be tried. What? Okay. Anyway, expect to hear a lot of uproar about this. I mean, this... From the Democrats. Oh, and actually everybody should be. This, this is really bad. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, the... The Republicans are responsible for the Miranda rights not being given to the uh, the terrorists, so that the terrorists would have to be sent back. Uh, and what there was this morning, they were talking on the news that there was a memo out that the person was not giving his rights, so that he could be deported, not to the Soviet Union that wants him, but to Saudi Arabia, because the, they also deported the person of interest is a money man for the Saudis handing out money to people like that. So. Oh, he is? Yeah. Well, guess what? He'll be rewarded. Oh, he's got that reward. Because they got, he, it was like the catch and release program. Well, one of the people said that, uh, you know, that uh, when when there was a big attack, it, Obama thought that he was going to make hay with the gun control issue over it, and that how he was doing this and doing that instead. Oh, no. Now it starts to look like it was intentional for gun control. Yeah. And it didn't work. Oh, actually, that's a good one. Catch and release program, the latest push for gun control. Yeah. No, uh, okay. It is a basic, it is a theorem that is absolutely right if you believe in what the, uh, uh, believe in the Keynesian, uh, 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 what came the, the, the monetary plan that Obama follows is that basically you need to cause as much destruction as can possibly be in order to end up with the result you want. And it works the same way. As many people as need be will be killed. In order, to, in get order to get gun control. That's right. But the problem is they're all liberal Democrats or terrorists and they're doing it. They haven't, got, they haven't found a conservative yet that has killed anyone. And Obama on the attack over the unlicensed guns that the bombers have. Yeah, and they're already this morning saying the president would basically got excited and he, he really, uh, he, he was so wrapped up in the anguish of the people that he didn't realize that the guns that they had were not legal to buy, period which meant they couldn't have went into a gun store or a show and bought the guns because they were illegal to own. Well, the, isn't that usually where they get them from? He, okay, there is not a Democrat, a liberal Democrat in the United States that understands the crooks don't go to gun stores <gasps> or and oh my gun God, shows they and buy weapons. They go to people, they go to unlicensed people and get the guns on the street. I mean, they, okay. When my father was an officer, a Los Angeles officer in the 1930s, my father said that, you know, that was a gang group big that time. He said that you could, he knew people. He said, uh, he said, I need a sub Thompson. Can you get me one? They said, well, how many do you need and how much ammunition? That's the people on the streets. In the Los Angeles Police Department couldn't get the sub Thompsons, but you could go to people on the street and they could get you as many sub Thompsons as they wanted. And that's what would happen was, uh, People in the tactical units in the police department would go talk to these people and buy extra weapons that they'd have for their protection. And Obama, oh wait a minute, well, we know that one. Gay yeah. marriage opponent stage a last ditch protest in Paris. Oh God, they got the, 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 the French government has a 10% approval rating and they passed a thing in a, cat, in a very, very Protestant country allowing gay marriage and they're going to do it even though the people in this country don't want it because uh, they said the approval rating is 10 percent. 10 percent. They're not. If they call, uh, uh, because of the parliamentary system, if they were to call for the election, okay, they said the country cannot pass anything. If they pass anything, they have to, uh, and it gets, and it fails, they have to call for a parliamentary election. So they did it by, uh, by the president of the country ordered that gay marriage be allowed in a Protestant country that doesn't recognize gay rights, figuring, well, they will, I will get the support of the gays in the state of, of France. So 90% of the people that aren't gay are basically, like 350,000 people last week 
protesting in Paris about gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And you know what, the people protesting for it, they right. said they maybe got a thousand, two thousand that showed up in support of it. Oh, and Osteen, South Korea plans 15 billion extra budget to boost the economy. I know uh, that it, it's, uh, the problem is, is nobody is buying anything at the moment. Mm -hmm. A company like Samsung, is so diverse that basically is way over the, you know, basically it supplies steel, it supplies this, it supplies that, that they can weather a downturn in, in the electronics industry because you do have to mow your lawns. You do have yeah. to repair your cars and things like that. They sell the things that people need and have to have if you don't buy new. Which is why Samsung has such a broad base. That's right. The mm -hmm. other companies didn't go broad. They decided to narrowly focus on things. That was a mistake. And hosting U.S. Defense Chief Israel hints at patience on Iran. No, they have no patience on Iran. This is Obama's people saying that, the, uh, you know, here's, here's the talking. Okay, they drop a nuclear bomb on you. Don't worry. We know that you took it for Obama. <laughs> yeah, they do not like Obama in Israel, so they have no patience on Iran. The, the day that they know that the Iranians are getting really close, they're going to send planes from some place our president doesn't know of. The last time they were going to do it, Obama blew the whistle on them, saying that they were uh, setting up military, a, a, fly, a state where they didn't have to fly over to Arab territory, mm -hmm. where they were shipping planes there. He blew the whistle and said, well, we had nothing to do with it, and we're going to find out who did it. It was the White House. So you're not going to, you know, the president of the United States is not going to hear any information of what the Israelis are going to do militarily any time ever. So uh, they'll be an attack. Like the guy, one of the people said this morning, he said, they'll be an attack. And Obama will be the last person to know about it. And Egypt cabinet or something will take place next week, the prime minister. Well, yeah, because they're becoming more radical. Uh, this morning, they were, they were going to, um, here's one, it's an, it's an ultra, con Muslims are really ultra-religious conservative, and women have to be completely covered. They were, what happens is, they caught a woman drinking in Ooh. public. So the judge ordered her under Islamic law, under Islamic law, to be stripped, shaved, and flogged to death mm. to teach her a lesson. Isn't that something? And up to 500 feared dead in Damascus suburb activists. Yeah, well, because they said that the, here's the problem is, is that nobody knows which side is doing the killing anymore. The, the fact is that the UN is doing nothing, and the UN is basically composed of people that doesn't, don't like Assad, means that a lot of what is being done is the good guys are killing the good guys off to make the bad guys look like they're bad. And the UN nuclear agency and talks about talks with Iran. The, the, it, Mama's a loony. These people, they have nothing to gain by doing, okay, they know that, that Obama is caving to the North Koreans. He is totally caving to them. And if he's going to cave to them, you've got a country that already owns ballistic missiles that can hit any spot in Europe with their ballistic missiles. They have submarines. They're, built, they're buying an aircraft carrier. And they're buying Russian and French mirages. They, they're going to, you know, if, if he won't stop the North Koreans, he's not anywhere in the world going to stop the, uh, the Iranians from developing every nuclear weapon they want. They figure they got at least one now. And how many... Okay. The one thing that is absolutely certain, when Iran launches, it's, Iran will get to launch one nuclear weapon before the whole, whole of Europe fires their weapons into Iran. They'll destroy Israel, but it, Iran will be taken, no, Iran will no longer exist on the face of this planet. Mm -hmm. So that mean, they, that's what they said is stupid, because, but the Muslims think that they can bluff the English, that they can bluff the Germans, they can bluff the French, they can bluff everybody. Well, we will dump up, and they think, well, no, you fire one, this, you know, you fire one missile, and every missile in the universe will land on that country. And why hasn't North Korea fired its Musadan missile yet? Because they don't have to. Mm -hmm. If you don't have to, there's no reason to fire it. And deadly blast rocked the Boston Marathon. Oh yeah, well, that, well, that one, I know that's a little old news. I was say I think that one's old. <laughs> well, no, well, oh, because there, what happens is, is the only news that they've been putting out for a week is the Boston Marathon. Like the horrific images from the Boston Marathon blast. Well, yeah, you know, this is okay. 
For instance, we do things with one of the major news agencies. As far as the major news agency is concerned, nothing on earth exists except the problems in, in Boston. Nothing. They won't even. Oh, just wait until they hear about the, the catch and release program. Well, they know catch and release. They're liberal Democrats. So. Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay. Often you have too much information to work with. 